Uh, my name is Pat Murphy, and um, I'm, to, uh, I'm a, a Michigander, and uh, Mobinar is a startup. We've been up uh, 10 months. We've been out three months. We've been actually invoicing for the last two months, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, what I'm here to talk about and is uh, what we do. We have a video platform, as most of you probably know, video is very hot right now, and our platform is a little different. It's been built for business. Uh, it's mainly a B2B play, although we do have clients and use it for B2C. But you upload your content, we'll just see here in a minute. I'll just get through it real quick. So, our belief is, and uh, the name Webinar came from the name Webinar, but the name uh, is really patterned after the idea that people are busy today, trying to get involved in webinars, or webinars are very difficult, so why not take that content, put it in shorter bite-sized increments, and send it out to people so that, so that they can watch it on their time. And you can do it privately, you can do it publicly, and the big deal is we've got the data on the back end. We can tell you who watched, when they watched, how long they watched, um, and it's great for lead generation. Uh, so this is how we stack up against the competition. So I'm in charge of business development, and um, so these are the people that uh, mostly uh, people compare us to, and our big differentiator is this push capability. You put your videos up on, um, on YouTube, uh, you're just waiting for people to find you around your website. So what we suggest is you can push it out. And when you push it out to people, they can watch it on the web, so they, they get the uh, email to their phone, uh, and they can watch the video, just like this last company that was just up there, that, that video was great. They can watch it on their phone, they can watch it uh, on their computer. Um, but we've got a lot of stuff that um, the other guys don't have, which is all this back-end data. Uh, it's almost laughable when you go to YouTube or Vimeo. They give you, hey, we've got 650 views. And I talk to people, yeah, but where are they from? Well, I don't know. Well, uh, if you don't know, uh, you don't have the data. So that's what we hang our hat on, and that's the big differentiator. Uh, so this is our platform. And I, uh, by the way, when I'm done here, if anybody's interested, you can sign for free. And uh, love to have you drive it. Tell me what you think of it. Uh, but this is uh, the landing club. Well, this is not the landing page. This is where you're going to upload one of your videos. You can actually tape it or video yourself right from your computer. You can uh, take it from your computer, whatever. Uh, and then basically you add a contact list and then you launch it. This is kind of <clears throat> when you create this video, what are you going to do with it? So um, uh, when you create this video, uh, what are you going to do with it? Well, we have this private mode. And the private mode means only the people that are on your list can see it. They can't share it. And not exactly like Snapchat, but when um, they're done watching it, you can take it right off their computer. So they're off the phones. Uh, the middle one is very popular. That's public. That's where you can watch it on the web, where you can watch it um, uh, through the app. Um, and they can share it. And we capture those leads. And then last is channel. This is uh, pretty cool. Because if you're running a business and you've got branches all over the world, you create this video, you upload it on a platform, you put it in the channel, you send it out to your partners around the world, and they can take that video, and then they can use that video uh, and tag it themselves. Um, I'm almost done here. Design for all audiences. So this is the web. So uh, when you're introducing somebody to your content, oftentimes, um, so the closest they're going to want to get to is just to be able to click on it and watch it. So we allow people to do that right on the web. Uh, then, uh, if you've got private webinars, uh, we require uh, them to log or set up an account. So they've got to log in and add a password. So they can do this on their computer and they'll see all their videos um, that, they, um, that they've got, uh, that, they, that they get. And this is our app. So if you've got a minute and you want to download the webinar, Feel free, you'll get all the public videos, you'll be able to see it there. We stream it just like Netflix, uh, right from our um, servers. And then, this is uh, really exciting. This is just uh, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we, were, uh, we are up on uh, Samsung Gear and Oculus. So if you've got an Android phone, uh, you can, um, if you haven't used the VR guy, I bet, how many people in this room have used VR? Yeah. Well, I will tell you this, 
In about two years or three years, 75 or 80 percent of the people in this room are going to be raising their hands. Why? It's going to be huge in education. It's going to be huge in medical. It's it's going to turn the world upside down. And I laugh at people that say, "Oh no, you know, it's just a gimmick." Let me tell you something. College kids are going to go to school, good or bad, wearing VR goggles, <laughs> and doctors are going to be doing surgery using VR goggles, just like pilots are using VR uh, right now, landing planes in difficult conditions and weather and such. So that they know it. So we have it. So if you've got uh, Android and uh, you download my uh, download our app right now, this is uh, this is very inexpensive set. It doesn't require you creating a video that is uh, uh, VR uh, capable or that you've shot with a lot of cameras. Uh, what this will do is this will take your video, your normal video, to make it anywhere from 2D to 4D. And if you want to see it, I'll show it to you afterwards. It's pretty cool. So we're very excited about that. This okay. questions. That's it. Thank you. That. Yeah. Yeah. I used to work on video companies like Oak Ridge Tour, and I was I was able to watch a video on my on my phone and uh, share it with your email. So how do you what is, what is your how are you different? How are we different? Okay. So ultimately, what is our goal is that we want our end user to download the app okay. or to sign up for the account so they put their uh, email and password in. Um, ultimately, that's what we are going for, but initially it's like the dating phase. We just want to send a video off for our clients and let people watch it, and uh, we'll track it that way. So um, we do, we can track emails from the back end doing it like that. It's a little hard work, but ultimately our goal is to get people to set up an account. And by, I'm not sure if everybody in this room knows it, but 80% of all video content is used internally. So companies use it to talk back and forth with employees. Uh, HR people want to send out a video on some new policy. They want to make sure you've seen it, so we get that on the back end. You good? Yeah. I'm a little confused. Uh, I'm trying to understand. Is your focus consumer? Is your focus business? Are you trying to do all? No, it's B2B. Sorry? It's B2B. It is definitely, for me, that is the biggest value gain for our company at this stage. We're bootstrapping. We haven't even raised the first round of funding yet. And um, does anybody, everyone of the users, have to download the app in order to see the videos? Uh, um, very good question. Up until a couple of weeks ago, that was uh, the way we saw the um, uh, business model working. We decided that we want to make people be, uh, to be able to watch it on the web uh, initially. Uh, any video gets pushed out there, ultimately because, you, hey, it's like anything else, you've got to date first uh, before you're going to go any farther, so we want people to get used to it. And then our, our clients then get them to download the app. To your point, if it's a business, like if McKesson wants their employees to download the app, they're going to download the app because they're going to be told, we want to send you secure video that only you can see that's password protected, and we don't want anybody else to see it, you can't afford it. 